molarity and dilution. We're going to work through all of these problems that I gave you guys in class. So I've got my problem sheets ready to go. Got my trusty periodic table of the elements. And of course, I have the Hewlett Packard 35S RPN calculator. All right. Number one. Two cubes of sugar are dissolved, are dissolved in some water, and then more water is added to fill a cup. A second cup has one lump of sugar dissolved in enough water to half fill the cup. Question A, which cup, if either, contains more sugar? All right, well, let's draw a little picture, shall we? Here I have a, that will represent my cup. That will represent the first cup. Let's call it cup A. And this will represent cup B. And artist rendering aside, those two cups are the same. Now, in cup A, I put in two cubes of sugar. And in cup B, I put in one cube of sugar. But in cup A, I fill it completely. So that would mean I have eight ounces of water with two cubes of sugar. And here I fill half the cup, so I have four ounces of water with one cube of sugar. So which cup, if either, contains more sugar? Well, clearly cup A contains more sugar than cup B, because it's got two cubes and B has one cube. So, which cup of either contains more sugar? Well, cup A, the first cup. All right, cup B, okay, in which, in answer question B, which cup of either contains a sweeter tasting solution? Well, the amount of sweetness would be based on the concentration of sugar in the water, the solute in the solvent. And you can see that if we look at this on a cube per ounce basis, here I have two cubes, two, cubes in eight ounces, and here I have one cube in four ounces. Well, you can see if we just reduce this, two cubes in eight ounces is equivalent to one cube in four ounces. So which cup of either contains a sweeter tasting solution? Neither. They're both the same. All right, there you go. Is your first taste of dimolarity, solution, dilution, all that stuff. Okay. Question two. Question two says, calculate the molarity of a 60.0 mill milliliter solution containing 1.25 moles of solute. Okay, well, as you no doubt recall, molarity, capital M, is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solvent. Moles of solute divided by liters of solvent. So, in this case, I have 1.25 moles of solute. So, my molarity will be equal to 1.25 moles. All right. And I'm going to divide that by liters of solvent. Well, the, the amount of solvent I have is in milliliters. That's 60.0 milliliters, which would equate to 0.0600 milliliter or liters. I wrote milliliters. That is supposed to be liters. Why don't you just use pencils? You can erase, Mr. Burge. Well, because then it wouldn't show up on the video. So I apologize for that. You know what? Let's just X that out. Let's do this. I got some room here. So M equals 1.25 moles over 0 0.0600 liters. All right, then I get my calculator. I say 1.25 and 0 0.06 divide 
that comes out to 20.8333, but I, my answer should have three sig figs in it, which will be 20.8, and there we go. Answer to 20.8. Question three, question three. Well, if you don't have any trouble with question two, you certainly won't have any trouble with question three. Calculate the molarity of a solution containing 0.45 moles of sodium chloride in 38.0 milliliters of solution. So once again, molarity equals moles, which is 0 0.450, that's moles, N-A-C-L. In 38.0 milliliters, of course, I want that to be in liters, so that will be 0 0.0380 liters. And so 0.45, enter that, divided by 0 0.038, divide. That comes out to 11.84. I should have three sig figs, so 11.8. And there we go. Answer three, eleven point eight. Answer four, question four. Calculate the molarity of 11.6 milliliters of solution containing 0 0.750 grams of CA, that should be CaCl2, CaCl2. Uh, calcium chloride. Um, let's see here. So we're now cal we're calculating molarity. All right, well, well, M, as you know, is moles of solute over uh, liters of solution. So um, we have a problem here because I do not know my moles of solute this time. But I can figure it out because if I have 0 0.750 grams of calcium chloride, I can convert that to moles using my atomic mass. So that would mean 0 0.750 grams of CaCl2 is congruent, or not congruent, but can be multiplied by one mole of Cl, CaCl2 over the atomic mass of calcium chloride. So I will get out my calculator here, my sheet of atomic masses, and that tells me that calcium is 40.08, and chlorine is 35.45, so the atomic mass of calcium chloride will be 40.08, and I have two chlorines, so 35.45, Multiply that by 2 and add that. Looks like it's going to be 110.98 grams CaCl2. All right. And what do we got here? So that is going to be 0 0.750. Divided by... 110.98, boom! That comes out to point zero zero six seven five. That's not my final answer, so I'm not going to worry about sig figs at the moment. In fact, I'm just going to make sure that this answer includes at least uh, one or more digits so I don't have to worry about sig figs, about this affecting sig figs. So anyway, so that will be the number of moles of calcium chloride. So back to calculating molarity, I have 0 0.00675 moles divided by 11.6 milliliters, which needs to be in liters, so that's 0 0.0116 liters. So 0 0.0116, I already have this number in my calculator. Divide, that comes out to Point five eight two five 
I should have, oh, look at this. I should have, well, three sig figs is only. Um, so 0.5825 comes out to 0.5. Eight, three. Not making my eights very clearly today. Point five, eight, three. Point five, eight, three. That's ah, still terrible. Anyway, that's the answer. All right. Number five. Calculate the number of liters necessary to contain 0.853 moles of 0.415 molarity solute. Okay, that, there, I, I made a mistake there. Clearly, that, that word shouldn't be solute. <laughs> that should be a solution, yes, there we go. Okay, what, well, yeah. I got a migraine this morning, in case you're wondering why. I seem a little off my feed. But for the students, I'll soldier on. Calculate the number of liters necessary to contain 0.853 moles of a 0.415 molarity solution. So, again, molarity equals moles over liters. Well, I want to find liters this time, so I'm just going to rewrite this. That means liters will equal, I'm going to multiply by liters, divide by molarity. Liters equals moles divided by molarity. And there we go. Now, do I know the number of moles? I do. It's 0.853. Do I know what my molarity is? I do. It's 0.415. If we assign the labels to this, that would be moles. This would be moles per liter. And when I divide that, I invert and multiply. The moles cancel out just liters, which is what we expect and what we want. So 0.853, that's not a point. 0.853, enter. 0.415, divide. Looks like that comes out to 2.055. With three sig figs, that will be 2.06 liters. Yes, you're probably wondering, gee, Mr. Birch, why don't you just keep your calculator over here? Well, because I keep having to move it out of the way, and there's actually no more table left on that side. You can't tell that from the video, but trust me, that's the case. Because I know you all are completely fascinated by even the most mundane details of my life. All right, number six, calculate the final concentration of a solution prepared by adding 2.00 liters of 3.00 molarity sugar solution to 4.00 liters of 3.00 molarity sugar solution. You know, we could work all this out, you know, fancy wise, blah, 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 blah. Because I know the molarity, and I know the liters. And if molarity equals moles over liters, that means moles equals molarity times liters. So I could use that formula to find out just how many moles of sugar I have in here, and use it to find out how many moles of sugar I have there. And after I mix them together, I would know then I would have this many moles and add those two together for six liters. But I don't need to do any of that. Because I've got... A solution here with a concentration of three, and I have a solution here with a concentration of three, if I mix them together, of course, my solution's concentration is still going to be three. So, I'm just gonna write that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, I suppose if I'm going to let's say calculate it, and you guys are probably, well, gee, Mr. Merge, I don't know if you get away with doing that. All right. Um, well, moles times liters, or molarity times liters is moles. So I have two times three. Oh, look at that, would you? I have five moles over here. In that, five moles of sugar. Okay. 
four times three, oh, five, I mean six. <laughs> Two times three. Four times three is 12. I have 12 moles of sugar, really? I just can't imagine, okay? Surely this is not gonna work out to three like I suspected, like I said, let's find out. So that means in my, after mixing them, I have a total of 18 moles. But how much solution, how much uh, solvent do I have now? Well, I have two liters and four liters. That is six liters. Oh, looky there. Feed me nails and call me rusty. That comes out to molarity of three. All right. All right, calculate the final concentration of sodium chloride after 1.25 liters of 0 0.500 molarity. Sodium chloride is diluted to 2.50 liters with water and with 2.50 liters of water. Okay. Yeah, you know, when I, when I retype these to get them big for this video, I obviously... Made a mistake there. This should be two. No, no, I got it right. Two 2.50 liters and with two point. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Make a mistake there. See, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. So, uh, final concentration or the molarity. So, molarity. Let's do A. This is B part A. Um, I still have uh, a 0 0.500 molarity. Okay. And I'm going to dilute that too. So the first thing I want to do up here is find out if I have 1.25 liters and 0 0.50 with 5.00 molarity, how many moles do I have? Well, moles is equal to molarity times liters. So 1.25 times 0 0.500. That is going to be 1.75. 1.25. Times 0.625 moles of NaCl. So in case A, I still have 0.625 moles, and that's going to be divided by the amount of solvent I have, which if I'm diluting this to 2.5 liters, I have 2.50 liters of solvent. Okay. In case B, my molarity, my number of moles doesn't change. 0.625 moles. But this time I'm diluting it with 2.5 liters of water. So I had 1.25. I'm going to add another 2.5, which is going to come out to 3.75 liters. So the answer to case A is 0.625, 2.5 divide. This comes out to a molarity of 2.50. And in this case, I have 0.625 and 3.75 divide. This comes out to a molarity of 1 or 0.1. 1666 repeating, so that will be to three sig figs 1.167. And there you go, problem seven done. Problem eight a nurse must prepare four liters of a 0 0.250 molarity saline solution. What volume of 6.00? molarity stock solution should the nurse die loot. All right. Well, as you no doubt know, if not, I will remind you. If I have a solution with a certain volume and molarity, and I change either the molarity or the volume, that those two items are indirectly related. So that means if molarity goes up, volume goes down. If volume goes up, molarity goes down. So I can say that the first case, molarity and volume, should be equal to the second case, molarity and volume. So M1V1 equals M2V2. And here, we're trying to find volume. So I'll first set that equal. So V2, 
will be equal to m1 v1 over m2. Just a little algebra there. Arithmetic, really. I don't know if you'd call it algebra. Some people would. They call it symbolic algebra. I don't really care. All right, so m1. That is going to be 0 0.250. 0 0.250. V1 is 4.00. All over M2, which is 6.00. Alrighty. And if I say 0.25, 4 times. 6 divide, that comes out to point one six seven. Well, point one six seven what? Well, liters. Yeah, there you go. All right, answer, that's, that's eight. Problem nine. Calculate the final concentration of 1.25 liters of 2.25 molarity sodium chloride. Oh, after, I'm sorry. Calculate the final concentration after 1.25 liters of 2.25 molarity sodium chloride is added to 3.50 liters of 2.45 molarity sodium chloride, and the resulting solution is diluted to 5.00 liters. Okay. Well, once again... Moles, as you recall, is equal to molarity times liters. So let's look at this first solution. My molar, my number of moles in the first solution, I'll call that moles sub 1, is equal to 1.25, 1 1.25 liters times 2.25 molarity, which is 1.25, 2.25 times, that comes out to 2.8125 moles. So I have 2.8125 moles of sodium chloride in the first solution. Now, in the second solution, moles sub 2, uh, the number of moles I have there will be the volume times molarity, so 3.50 times 2.45 equals 3.5, enter, 2.45 times, that is 8.575 moles. All right, so to calculate the molarity of my final solution, I know that it's diluted to 5 liters, so the amount of volume I have is 5.00 liters. So how many moles do I have? Well, if I had that many moles in this first solution, that many moles in the second when I mix them together, I will have the sum of those two moles in my final solution. So I'll just add those two together. That comes out to 11.3875. When I divide that by 5, that comes out to 2.277 to three sig figs is 2.28. Molarity of 2.28. And there we go. Number 10. What volume of 1.50 molarity hydrochloric acid is required to react with 34.6 milliliters of 2.44 molarity, molarity of sodium hydroxide? All right, well, I need to know a couple things here. We're looking at a reaction. So I'm going to start by getting a balanced equation. So, I'm going to 
saying that H C L plus, you know, I don't like the way this is writing. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell it with a sharper point. No, that's not it. That's not it. How about this one? Oh, that looks better. HCL plus NaOH will yield, of course, N N A C L plus H two O. So I have uh, two H's. I have one O, one C L. So it's all balanced already. All right, cool. So let's see, what do I got here? Uh, I know that I have 34.6 milliliters of 2.44 molarity NaOH. So what I can do is I can multiply those two together to find out how many moles of NaOH I have. So moles of N. A O H will be equal to 2.44 times 0 0.0346, 0 0.0346, which is equal to 2.44, 0 0.0346 times, let's go with 0 0.0844, 0 0844. Four, and that is moles of NaOH. So the question is, if I have 0 0.0844 moles of NaOH, how many moles of this should I have? Well, you can see the mole ratios are one to one. That means I should also have 0 0.0844 moles of that. And of course then, 0 0.0844. 844 moles of sodium chloride. All right. Well, um, I'm trying to find the volume. Well, I know that volume will be equal to moles divided by molarity. So now I know the number of moles is 0 0.0844. And I know the volume uh, I'm sorry, I know the molarity of that uh, hydrochloric acid solution. Um, so it is 1.50. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to find the volume of this. Um, 0 0.0844, blah, 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 1.5 divide. So that is going to be 5 to 3 sig figs. So I'm going to say 5.6. Three times ten to the minus two. Five point six three times ten to the minus two. All right. Number eleven. What volume of point five oh, 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 molarity nitric acid is required to react with 41.77 milliliters of 0 0.1603 molarity barium hydroxide. Well, again, I have a reaction, which means I will need a balanced equation. So HNO3 plus BaOH2 that will be a double replacement reaction. So I will have BaNO3. The BaNO3, well, the charge on NO3 nitrate is minus one. So it's so BaNO3, two plus H and OH will become H2O. So let's see, what do I got here? I have 1BA, 1BA, that's cool. I have two nitrates, only one nitrate. Need to put a two right there. Now, because I put a two there, what does that give me? Well, I have two H's, which is good. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And 
I have, oh, but no, you see, now I have a total of four H's here, don't I? Two there and two there, and two O's, so I need to put a two right there. All right, there's my balanced equation. All right, so in order to find out what volume of that solution I have, I need to know how many moles of that solution I have, because I know the molarity. Alrighty. Well, I do know the volume and the molarity of my barium hydroxide solution. So I will use that to find out how many moles of barium hydroxide I have. All right. So let's do that. So this will be one or point one six zero three times forty four one point seven seven milliliters is 0 0.04177 liters. So 0 0.1603, enter 0 0.04177 times. That comes out to 0 0.006695, I'm gonna say 6965 seven times 10 to the minus three moles of barium hydroxide. And then I want to know if I have that many moles of barium hydroxide, then how many moles of HNO3 Three would be required to react with that much barium hydroxide. Well, I can use stoichiometry to find that out because I will now take this and just multiply it by the mole ratio of barium hydroxide to nitric acid. So according to my balanced equation, two moles, two moles of HNO3 is equivalent to one mole of BaOH2. And I will write that answer right there. So two times, that comes out to point zero one three three nine and that would then be moles of HNO3. So if the molarity of my HNO3 solution is 0.5, then what volume would I need to get that many moles? Well, let's find out. I know that volume is equal to moles divided by molarity. So 0 0.01339 divided by 0 0.5000 equals 0.5 divide 0 0.0267. Now, I should have four sig figs, okay? Do I have four sig figs yet? No because that doesn't count as a sig fig. So 0 0.026782, my calculator says, so I'll just finish that off with an eight. Or if you prefer, 2.678 times 10 to the minus two, and that of course will be liters. Problem 12. Calculate the number of moles of sodium chloride produced by the reaction of, of 0.0452 liters of 4.20 molarity hydrochloric acid and 1.20 liters of 2.17 molarity sodium hydroxide. All right. Well, we already did the balanced equation for that in problem, what was it, 10? So I don't need to go through all that again. But you will no doubt recall that uh, 
HCl plus NaOH is equal to NaCl plus H2O. All right. So I know the liters and molarity of my hydrochloric acid solution. I know the liters and molarity of my sodium hydroxide solution. So I can use both of those to find the moles of each of those. So this will be, for HCl, I will have 0 0.0452 times 4.20, which is equal to 0 0.0452 and 4.2 times, that comes out to 0.18984 moles of HCl. And for sodium hydroxide, I will have 0 0.120 times 2.17. This comes out 2.12, 2.17 divide, that comes out to 0 0.055299 blah 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 moles of NaOH. So I have that many moles of that and that many moles of that. You know, that number seems way too small. Yeah, how can I multiply that by two and get a number? That I've made a mistake right there. What if I divided? Let's see, 0.12, enter, 2.17 times. Oh, that's so much better. <clears throat> 0.2604 moles of NaOH. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now again, all these mole ratios are one to one. So which one of these is gonna limit my reaction? Well, it's going to be uh, the one with the smaller number of moles, which is the HCl. So that means that if I have, like if I'm only reacting 0.189 moles of HCl, I will only react, it will only react with 0.189 moles of that and only produce 0.1890 moles of that. So my answer will be two, uh, three sig figs, 0.189, which would go to 0.190 moles of N. A C L right there. Thirteen. 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 Let's see. Calculate the number of grams of sodium chloride that can be produced by the reaction of twenty two point four milliliters of a two molarity hydrochloric acid and 1.74 grams of sodium hydroxide. So it's the same reaction. I'm just trying to find grams. So what I can do here is I know the molarity of that and that. And I know the, uh, what I'm trying to say, the grams of sodium hydroxide. So I can use this to find the number of moles of this and I can use this with the amount of mass to find the moles of that. So let's start there. Moles of hydrochloric acid will be 22.4. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That's milliliters. Will be 0 0.0224 times 2.00, which is... 0 0.0224, enter 2.00 times, that comes out to 0 0.0448, and that will be moles of HCl. Now here, I'm going to start with 1.74 grams of NaCl. I'm going to convert that to moles, so one mole of NaCl. What is the atomic mass of NaCl? 
Well, I dropped my periodic table on the floor. So hang on a second. There we go. All right, got it. Everybody relax. Sodium is 22.99. And chlorine is 35.45. I'm just going to add those together. That comes out to 58.4. No. I'm a dork. Like I said, I'm doing all this with the migraine. Uh, that's not that's not sodium chloride. It's sodium hydroxide. 1.74 grams of NaOH. Okay, times one mole of NaOH. And so, what's the atomic mass of Sodium hydroxide, well again, I just dropped my thing on the floor. You think I'd have this memorized? 20, what is it? 22.99. So 22.99. Oxygen is 16. Hydrogen is 1.01. That comes out to, by God, it comes out to 40.00. Oh, 40.00 grams NaOH which is equal to big equal sign, big equal sign. There we go, there we go. Um, big, uh, going way over there with this answer. There we go, nice little arrow there. That is going to equal 1.74 and 40 divide. So that comes out to 0 0.0435. Four. Three five moles of NaOH. So again, which one is limiting? I wonder. Which one is limiting? Well, the smaller of the two. So that'll be that one there. So I'm gonna take 0 0.0435 moles of NaCl. Because, remember, all my mole ratios in that reaction are 1. So, however many moles of this I have, that's how many moles of the product I will have. So, that's asking for a gram. So, I'm just going to convert this to grams. So, 1 mole of NaCl. And, you know, uh, normally I, I would have remembered what I just did a moment ago. But... Uh, 22.99, I remembered that, there you go, that's sodium. 35.45, there you go, clicking on all cylinders now. And that's 58.44 grams NaCl, and 0.0435 times, that comes out to 2.5. 542 or 2.54 to 3 sig figs 2.54 uh, grams of sodium chloride which is what I want to find okay just again because I made so many mistakes there let's run through this again I'm trying to calculate the number of grams of sodium chloride in that reaction well I can use these two values to find the moles of hydrochloric acid which I did there I can use the the mass of this and its atomic mass to find the moles of sodium hydroxide. Because all the mole ratios are one to one in that whole reaction, I know that this is limiting, so that means I'll also produce 0 0.0435 moles of sodium chloride and use the atomic mass to convert that to grams. There we go. And the last problem, number 14. Calculate the volume of a 0.225 molarity solution of potassium hydroxide required to react with 0.215 grams of acetic acid. Okay. Well, we've got a reaction, so we need a balanced equation. So we're combining potassium hydroxide, which is KOH, and acetic acid, which is HC2H3 O2. 
and that will be a double replacement reaction. So that's going to produce potassium acetate, which is KC2H3O2, and of course, our good friend water, H2O. Now, are we balanced? I have one of those, one of those. I have one acetate, one acetate. I have two hydrogens and one oxygen. Good to go. So I want to calculate the volume of that solution. So in order to do that, I know it's molarity. I need to know how many moles of that I have. Yes. Well, if I know the number of moles of that was wherever it was required to react with the grams of that, I need to find out how many moles of this I have. So 0.215 grams of H. C2H3O2 times one mole of HC2H3O2. What is the atomic mass of HC2H3O2? Well, I have four H's at 1.01. .01. two carbons at 12.01. I have two oxygens, each one at 16, that's 32, plus, plus, so I have 60.06 grams of HC2H3O2. So, I'm just going to point Two one five divide that comes out to point zero zero one 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 three five eight. So I'm going to write that in scientific notation. Three point five seven nine seven blah 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 times ten to the minus three moles of acetic acid. All these ratios are one to one. That means I also then needed that many moles of potassium hydroxide. All right, so now I have all the information I need. No, I'm trying to find volume. And volume is equal to moles, <coughs> excuse me, divided by molarity. I have the number of moles it's right there. 3.579 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of, I know the molarity, that's given, 0.225 molarity. So I'm just going to say 0.225, I already got that number in my calculator, divide. That comes out to 0 0.0159. How many sig figs should I have? Well, only three. So I'm going to go 0 0.0159, yeah. I'll put 0.0159. There you go. And that is the liters of the potassium hydroxide solution. There we go. Done and done.